Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another tutorial. Today is my first motion tutorial. I just bought Motion, which is available on the Apple App Store, which is this little blue icon at the bottom here, for those of you who don't know Apple very well. It costs 59, no, no, $49. It costs $49. And it allows you to do lots of fancy graphic stuff on top of your video and creation. It's a uh, it's a powerful tool for a really good price and um, I learned something new today so I thought I'd share it with you guys out there. What we're going to do is actually open up a new motion project. We're going to have everything set up here. I'll just do 30 frames per second and 1080 broadcast sounds good. And this clip is 7 seconds so I'm going to put 8. Then I'm going to go ahead and open up the old project. Again, first tutorial. I'm not a pro at all. but I figured the things that I would learn, I would share with the rest of the YouTube audience so everyone could uh, crank up the video quality to the next level. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is actually find my video, which is actually on my desktop. And I just did a quick video capture. So you're going to select the video, and then you have a little window here that kind of shows what's going on here. Then you import it, and it puts it into the player here. And what I like to do is just actually go to the fit so I know for a fact that it fits in the player. And I'm going to go ahead and hit play so you can see what we're working with here. This is just a pan of a One Piece character. So the first thing I actually want to do is kind of figure out where I want my text to appear in the old timeline. Okay, so as soon as Luffy appears, I want to actually put some text that actually tells you what his name is. Okay. So I think I'm going to start it right about here. Actually right where his foot is. So kind of right here. So go to the text icon here. Monkey D. Luffy. Make sure I spell it right. Monkey D. Luffy. Yep, that's him. Okay, I just call him Luffy. Okay, let's go back to that text that we had here. And you can actually go to the inspector and do a little editing on the, the look and feel of it. The format of the text. We'll go bigger. And I actually want to change the font to... Yeah... I guess impact will do. It's a little bit bigger. Monkey D. Luffy. Okay. So now, now that we have a little bit of text there, I actually want to go to the gear again. Go to motion tracking and match move. So what this is going to allow us to do is actually um, pick a point where we want to kind of follow the movement. And it's it's kind of good to pick something that has you know a little bit of contrast between colors so the the computer can actually see. So I think that's a good point there. And at this point, we can put our, our text anywhere we want. So I'm gonna put it right here. And before we do that, we actually have to click on this analyze button here in the behaviors pane on the sidebar. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and let it process again. This Processing and analyzation will take as long as your computer is. I have a Mac Mini here, uh, 20, late 2014, early 2015, and I'm actually screen recording, so it takes a little bit longer to actually render that out, but not too long at all. It's only a seven second video. So now the true test is let's see how it looks. So let's go to a good point in time, and we'll hit the play button here. And you'll notice that it follows, yeah. Okay, I don't necessarily like the way it 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 got it went into his head, but I think we put it out here a little bit farther. We should be safe. So let's go ahead and uh, start that tracking. Okay. And let me go back again. So you can actually move this around. Well, let's go to the point where it actually starts. I could actually move this over here as well. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, 
Okay. Pretty cool, yeah. But now I think I actually like it better on the other side here. Let's put them right out here. And let's have another quick look at it, real quick. Okay, pretty awesome, yeah? Okay, so now we're finished and I wanna actually share this out. So let's go to share, I'm gonna export movie. I'm gonna keep it same as source, but you do have options to actually change it, but I'm gonna keep it same as source. And I'm gonna leave all the other options standard. So let's go ahead and hit next. And I'll put Luffy's, no, but let's put Luffy. That's good enough. Put it on the desktop so I can actually find it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and let it do its business. Again, this is only a seven second video. So it don't take that long to actually render. Okay, so let's have a look at it. Let me shrink it up just a tad bit here. Hit play. Pretty cool, huh? So again, this is a, I'm, I'm very new to, to actually use in motion. And, but for the price, 49 bucks, 50 bucks, compared to if you wanted to use Adobe After Effects, you'd have to get a subscription, you'd have to pay monthly. This is a bargain. For anybody that's using Final Cut Pro 10, or even iMovie for that matter, I think this is a really good addition to your editing suite. And there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube, a lot of tutorials on YouTube. And of course, some of the other professional sites such as lynda.com has videos. So yeah, stay tuned. I don't know how many of these I'll do, but any kind of cool things or interesting things I learn, I will definitely make a tutorial and share them. And as always, peace and aloha. And don't forget, subscribe, share, comment, tell your friends.